The AFCON is easily one of the most interesting tournaments in the world, and if you're not following this current edition, then you really are missing out. The tournament gives us the best drama, the best highlights, and frankly, the best players. Already, we get to see players like Salah, Mane, Eduard Mendy, Mares, Hakimi, Kessin, Ndidi, Halla, and many more superstars at the AFCON. But did you know that there are even more superstars who could very well have featured? Well, come along as we show you 10 absolute superstars that could have played in the African Cup of Nations. Number 1. David Alaba Alaba may have been born in Austria, but he is still very much Nigerian and could have played for the Super Eagles if he wanted to. His parents are from the Yoruba land in Nigeria and the defender's middle name and last name, Ola Tukundo Alaba, are reflective of that. But the Real Madrid man pledged allegiance to the Austrian national team way back in 2009 and even now currently captains them, so you can say that ship has long sailed. But here's a more recent one. Number 2. Bukayo Saka Saka, just like Alaba, is from Yoruba land in Nigeria, and his names are very Yoruba. But he was born in England though, and until 2020, there was a bit of suspense about whether the youngster was going to opt to play for his country of birth or go to represent his parents' country. Very interestingly, Saka got his first call up to the England national team on the 1st of October, the day Nigeria celebrates their independence from England. But wouldn't it have just been nice to see Saka don that really beautiful jersey of the Super Eagles? Anyway, while Saka could have played for one country at the AFCON, there's another youngster who could have represented two different African countries. Number 3. Alfonso Davies the Bayern left-back was born in Ghana to Liberian parents and that means he was eligible to play for any of the two West African countries. In fact, Davies didn't even become a Canadian citizen until June 2017. But then, that same month, he made his debut appearance for the Canada national team. Alfonso Davies is not the only Bayern player who could have featured at the AFCON though. Can you guess who else in the Bayern Munich lineup could have featured for an African national team? Well, while you're trying to figure that out, please go and slap a like on the video if you've been enjoying it so far. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you stay updated with us. Done? Now, what was your answer? We have three, actually. Number four. Serge Gnabry Gnabry was born in Germany to a German mother and an Ivorian father, so he could have represented the elephants at the AFCON had he not chosen to play for Germany. Number 5. Jamal Musiala Musiala is another person on our list who was eligible to play for up to three different countries. He was born in Germany to a German mother and a British-Nigerian father. So apart from Germany, which he currently represents at the senior level, he could have actually opted to play for the Three Lions or the Super Eagles. Sadly for Nigerians, it didn't seem like Nigeria was anywhere near his radar. Before he decided to play for Germany last year, the heated debate was whether he was going to play for England or Germany. He, in fact, had already represented both countries at the youth level prior to that time. Number 6. Leroy Sané Leroy could have been teaming up with Sadio Mane in the Senegal National Cup at the AFCON. Of course, finding out that Sané has Senegalese roots sort of makes sense because his name sounds a lot like Mane, and it had us wondering. In fact, did you know that Leroy's father, Suleiman Sane, was a footballer himself and even represented the Senegal national team? Leroy, however, decided not to follow in his father's footsteps and opted to play for his mother's country instead. Anyway, these guys at Bayern could be getting a new teammate who could have also featured at the AFCON. Number 7. Antonio Rudiger Rudiger, who is heavily linked to a move to Bayern Munich in the summer, is a proud Sierra Leonean. He was born in Berlin, but his mother is a Sierra Leonean, and he never forgets his African roots. In fact, after Sierra Leone's impressive result against AFCON defending champions Algeria in their first game of the ongoing tournament, Rudiger posted a picture of himself holding up a Sierra Leone flag with the caption, Proud of the Boys. 
The Chelsea defender also does a lot for his second home. He recently just talked about launching a foundation in the West African country. You know what? If you're currently watching this from Sierra Leone, maybe you can catch Rudiger. He announced on Twitter that he's currently there to take a break for a couple of days. It would have been nice to see the big man represent the country he so obviously loves and is proud of at the AFCON. Number 8. N'Golo Kante Rudiger's superstar teammate N'Golo Kante could also have featured at the AFCON. Although the World Cup winner was born in Paris, both his parents are from Mali. So, until he made an appearance for Le Bleu in 2016, he was eligible to play for the West African side. Yeah, we know that the AFCON has featured some of the best midfielders in the world, but just imagine N'Golo Kante tearing things up at the Cup of Nations. Mali would have been extremely lucky to have him alongside Ibe Basuma at the heart of the midfield. Number 9. Karim Benzema Yes, the four-time UEFA Champions League winner could have played at the AFCON. Benzema was born to French parents of Algerian descent. His grandfather was born and grew up in Algeria. So he was more than eligible to feature in the AFCON for Algeria alongside Man City's Riyad Mahrez. What an attacking duo that would have been. Would Benzema's presence in that team have saved the defending champions from the disgraceful exit in the group stage of the 2022 tournament? What do you think? Number 10. Kylian Mbappe Believe it or not, before 2017, football's crown prince could have played at the AFCON for not one, but two different African countries. Kylian's dad is Cameroonian, while his mother is Algerian, so he could have chosen any of the two African giants to play for. But, as we all know, he opted for France, his country of birth. And, well, he must be happy with his decision as he went on to win the World Cup in his very first outing with Le Bleu. In this video, we mention names like Sané, Gnabry, Saka and, of course, Benzema and Mbappe. If all these proven superstar goalscorers adopted to represent their African countries at the AFCON, which would you put your money on to surely win the AFCON Golden Boot? Oh, and as you make your pick in the comments, remember that players like Mo Salah and Sadio Mane, who are both Premier League Golden Boot winners, have never come close to being top scorer at the Cup of Nations. The AFCON truly is different. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our subsequent videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye.